Millions of people swelter in soaring temperatures as heat waves continue across the United States, India and Europe. Over the last few days, including at the Euros in Germany, we've seen some extreme weather conditions yes. all around the world, haven't we? We have. And our climate editor, Justin Rowland, is here to explain what on earth is happening. Yeah, we have seen some really seriously wild weather around the world for the time of year. Temperatures are unexpectedly high in parts of the US and eastern Canada, in Greece and Cyprus and also in northern India. In the US, more than 70 million people are under heat alerts with temperatures as high as 41 degrees Celsius forecast in some areas. Scientists say many extreme weather events are becoming more frequent and more intense as a result of climate change. It is a similar story in Canada, where heat warnings have been issued across a swathe of southern Canada and central parts of the country, as temperatures have soared as high as 35 degrees Celsius. Americans and Canadians are being warned to take precautions against a heat stroke. We just don't have enough data yet to understand how the heightened uh, temperatures of the atmosphere and ocean are going to impact uh, firefighting, coral reef die off, uh, things like this. So we're in a time of extreme climate. Searing temperatures in northern India pushed power demand to a record high, the government said on Tuesday, with residents of the capital, New Delhi, also struggling with water shortages. Now, it's not unusual for the country to witness high temperatures, but the heat came early this year and it has hardly relented. It's a similar story across Europe too. In Greece, the early heat waves have led to a spate of disappearances and deaths of tourists across the Mediterranean country, highlighting the dangers of heat exposure. We've heard about the recent deaths um, of people going out walking in, in the heat and, uh, you know, it's tragic, it's incredibly sad, but it's not sensible to go out walking alone in the heat with no water and, and you know, it's, 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 it's warm. Well, Justin is here with us now and it's scary times, Justin. It is scary times. The kind of temperatures we're seeing so early in the year. It's early summer now to see these incredible high temperatures across uh, eastern the US and Canada, you know, India and also in the Mediterranean is a real warning about the risks of heat exposure. We saw, remember, with Michael Mosley first going missing and then obviously uh, being found dead as a result of exposure to the heat. We saw the dangers, but it wasn't just him. About 10 people have died in, in Greece and Cyprus as a result of the complications of being exposed to high temperatures. Much more dramatic in Saudi Arabia, where the Hajj is on. That's the big annual pilgrimage. It's a, it's a, it's a, a religious requirement uh, for Muslims. And about 500 people, we understand from press reports, have died. About 500? 500 people, 2,000 people being treated in hospital for the effects of exposure to heat. So it just tells you, you've got to be so careful when it gets as hot as this. Be hydrated, make sure you've got water with you. Keep in the shade, don't go out in the heat of the sun got to be very it really is a real danger now and we, we heard from somebody in Greece yesterday who was saying to us that you know often you get these very very high temperatures later on in the summer in July and August some people from the UK will have gone to Greece and the Mediterranean earlier thinking they're going to avoid it so may not be prepared may yeah. not even be thinking about yeah, having to absolutely. deal absolutely so normally you'd expect it in the late 20s maybe early 30s we're right up in the 40s across much of Greece. That is really, really seriously hot. And the situation in the United States is just as bad, if not worse. And in the US, we've got a combination of heat and humidity. Now, that makes it even harder for our bodies to cool down. We've also got some extraordinary wildfires in New Mexico. There was a huge fire, which I believe is now under control, just outside uh, 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 Los Angeles. Really kind of, kind of scenes of kind of biblical destruction in the US. Again, look, we're fairly used to seeing uh, uh, forest fires, wildfires in America and Canada. Terrible year for Canada last year. Again, it's really early in the year to get this kind of scale, fires on this kind of scale. So really quite frightening stuff in the US. Justin, thank you very much indeed. Thank you for coming in. And uh, Carol joins us in the studio now. Well, should we talk about the, those conditions in America? Because what is it about the weather in America at the moment that it seems to be making those, those fires even worse? 
Well, at the moment, we've got high pressure across some central and eastern parts of America and very high temperatures in the east. And that's how I'm going to start because it's dragging up, as well as those high temperatures, a lot of humidity. So if we take a look at the temperatures by day, this is the kind of level you can expect. So Washington, 38 degrees. But add on the humidity and against your skin, it will feel more like 43 degrees. And by night, there's not a huge respite from those high temperatures, which make them so dangerous.